The United States imports oil from Saudi Arabia, cars from Japan, TVs from Korea, and whiskey from Scotland. So what do we import from India? We import people, really smart people. And as you're about to see, the smartest, most successful, most influential Indians who've migrated to the U.S. seem to share a common credential. They're graduates of the Indian Institute of Technology, better known as IIT. Made up of seven campuses throughout India, IIT may be the most important university you've never heard of. This is IIT Bombay. Put Harvard, MIT, and Princeton together, and you begin to get an idea of the status of this school in India. You compute the capacity of the column. IIT is dedicated to producing world-class chemical, electrical, and computer engineers. And then you plug this back in and you... With a curriculum that may be the most rigorous in the world. Just outside the campus gates, the slums, congestion, and chaos of Bombay are overwhelming. Inside, it's quiet and uncrowded, and by Indian standards, very well equipped. Getting here is the fervent dream of nearly every schoolboy. With a population of over a billion people in India, competition to get into the IITs is ferocious. Last year, 178,000 high school seniors took the entrance exam called the JEE. Just over 3,500 were accepted, or less than 2%. Compare that with Harvard, say, which accepts about 10% of its applicants. The IITs probably are the hardest school in the world to get into. In the whole world. To the best of my knowledge. Vinod Kosla got into IIT about 30 years ago. After graduating, he came to the U.S., co-founded Sun Microsystems, and became one of Silicon Valley's most important venture capitalists. He's one of thousands of IIT graduates who've made it big in the U.S. How significant would you say the impact of IIT graduates has been on the American technology revolution? It's far greater than most people realize. Microsoft, Intel, PCs, Sun Microsystems, you name it. I can't imagine a major area where Indian IIT engineers haven't played a leading role. Leading role. A leading role, and of course, the American consumer in the American business, in the end, is the beneficiary of that. It isn't just high tech. The head of the giant consulting firm McKinsey and Company is an IIT grad. So is the vice chairman of Citigroup and the former CEO of US Airways. Fortune 500 headhunters are always on the lookout for that IIT degree that they are favored over almost anybody else. If you're a WASP walking in for a job, you wouldn't have as much pre-assigned credibility as you do if you're an engineer from IIT. 90% of IIT students are male, and the young men we met in Bombay know they're hot commodities. The American companies love the kids from IIT. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> that's, what we've heard. that's what we've heard, too. After I leave IIT Bombay, I hope to get a good job. So it can be a ticket to another way of life. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. And a ticket out of India. Well, how many of you think that you're going to end up in the United States? For a while, I think all of us would be there. Maybe At for some work. stage. At some stage. That's not the way it was supposed to be. I want my country to be strong. Nehru, India's and first I prime minister, created IIT 50 years ago, just after independence, to train the scientists and engineers he knew the nation would need to move from medieval to modern. He never imagined India would be supplying brain power to the whole world. Would you say that IIT graduates are India's most valuable export? Yes, undoubtedly. N. Ram, one of India's leading journalists, says that because the stakes are so high, a kid starts preparing early. Age seven, eight, ten, by the 10, you know whether you're made, you're made for it or not. This is the truth or not? <laughs> and at least half of these 10-year-olds told us they think they're made for it. But just standing out in school won't be enough. Two valences to the other. At about 16, they enroll in a prep class where they're drilled for the IIT entrance exam. 
There are even pre-dawn tutoring classes. 4.30 to about 8, they, they, they are gr they're grilled and then they go to school. Regular school? Regular school. 4.30 to 8 a.m.? Yes. Are you saying they do that every day? Yes, every day for that period. Two Particularly years. two years. Classes every 11 and 12, you do nothing but study. And parents hover and push and fret. I normally stay up all night and uh, study for my exams. So during, during this pre preparation, uh, my mother never used to let me prepare my own cup of tea. So if you stayed up all night, she, she stayed she up all night to, to stay, make stay your tea? With me, yeah. After years of preparation, the day they and their families believe will make or break the future finally arrives. On the day of the exam, my dad, my mom, and my younger brother, they all accompanied me uh, to the center. I said, okay, now you can leave, I'll come, I'll come home on my own. But I was, I was literally amazed when I came back from the, came back out of the center uh, and see my parents and brother still waiting for me outside the center. How many hours? It was, it was close to six hours. Six hours of testing, then an excruciating month-long wait for the results. They put them up on the web and you can call Four them up call and them. after 10 days you get a letter. So that's but it's on the web so everybody knows. Yeah. yeah. You never get your marks. You just Nobody get knows. your All India rank. You just get your rank. Rank, so you first, second, third in the country. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes. So it goes from so one, to two, one to three thousand roughly. So if you were two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, everybody knows. Everybody, everybody knows, everybody and you're considered knows. really lucky. <laughs> the top rankers get their photographs in the paper and all. So. The, f the high ranks. The high ranks. Yes, he's one of them. Of course. <laughs> you you were one of them. Yeah, somewhat. Yeah. yeah. What number? I was one ninety-six. So did you get your picture in the paper? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The ranking isn't just an ego trip. The top kids get to choose which campus they 